Welcome back everyone. So today we're going to cover five exercises that are going to help you to build stronger legs. So it's really important to have a lot of muscle to support the knees. A lot of people have pain in their knees, but so if you have more muscle, it's going to support you and it'll make it easier and it'll be less painful. So let's get started. You just need to have a chair. You can have light dumbbells if you wish, just for one of the exercises and either sock feet or shoes with very little tread on them. Whether you use a floor, a hardwood floor or um, carpet or a rug, it doesn't matter. It, just follow along with the exercises and you'll see what works best for you in terms of being able to move more easily. Okay, let's get started. So we're gonna start with our calf raise. So holding onto the back of your chair, lifting the heels as much as you can, having the feet shoulder width apart. So let's start again. Feet shoulder width apart. We're gonna bring those heels up, keeping the legs fairly straight. You're not bending the knees because if you're doing that, your calves aren't getting the workout. So keeping the legs straight, heels up. Let's go, so that's one. So bring the heels up as much as you can. And when you come back down, try and control your weight as it comes back down. So going up, that's four, and down. Five. Six. Seven. Eight. And you've got two more. Nine. Last one, keeping the heels up here. And I want you to come down as slowly as you can and all the way down, excellent. Okay, exercise number two, we are doing our toe raises. So again, holding onto the chair for support, lifting the toes up and back down. So just lifting them up as much as you can. So by being strong in the front of your leg, this is gonna help to prevent falls. Often people fall because they aren't lifting their toes enough as they're walking. And we've got four more. And last one. Good. Okay, going in front of the chair, we are going to do our sit to stands. So having the heels back a little bit under the chair. Now think about putting your weight into your heels. So it takes some pressure off the knees. So you can have your hands here for support if you're feeling unstable. If you use a walker, you can have the walker in front also for safety. So sitting down, controlling your weight as much as you can as you come down, pressing your weight into your heels and coming up. That's one, let's do that again. So coming down, pressing through the heels as you stand and repeat. So this is three. So really try and control your weight as you come down. If you're flopping into the chair, that's okay. It just means that we will continue to work on that strength and you'll continue to build on the strength by doing these exercises. Press into the heels. Coming down. We've got four more, so just do as many as you can. If you find that that's enough already, then just stop there and you'll continue to work on that to try to build on that strength. Okay, for our last one, I want you to try and come down as slowly as you can. So weight into the heels, bringing your bum back, taking that pressure off the knees. Excellent and then coming back up again. Good, okay, coming back behind the chair again. So for the next one, we're gonna do a bit of a lunge, but we're using the chair, so don't worry. So here's where you really don't wanna have a lot of tread on your shoes, otherwise your shoe is not gonna go back. So let me show you what we're doing. So you're holding onto the back of the chair. You are sliding a foot back. Now watch my knee. My knee is not going past the toe. Sometimes you see people doing this and that is not good. That is putting, putting a lot of pressure on your knees. So let's start again, keeping the feet fairly close together, not quite shoulder width apart, but definitely apart about this much. Okay, so I'm just sliding a foot back to the point that, that I don't wanna go anymore or if you feel unsafe, then stop there, okay? And then you're sliding the foot back in again. So it's like a lunge, but the chair is supporting us. So going back, you'll feel that in the glutes as well. 
and then slide that foot back. Now, if your foot isn't sliding well, you can either put a paper plate or a styrofoam plate underneath your foot, turning it, yeah, just having it upright, or just use bare feet or sock feet. It depends on what works best for you, so just figure out what, what works depending on what kind of floor you're using. So let's get started. So bringing that foot back, watching the knee, making sure it's not going past the toe, and then bring it back again. Let's do that again. And coming up, trying to keep your back flat, not rounded. Now, if you can only bring your foot back to this point, that's okay too. Again, everyone's gonna be different, so go with what works for you. So we've got four more. Do as many as you can. If you need to stop, that's okay. Two more. So again, think of pressing through the heels or putting your weight into your heels rather than your toes to take that pressure off the knees, switching to the other side. Ready? Let's go. This is seven, eight, nine, and our last one, and 10. Good, excellent. Okay, the next one is where you could use dumbbells if you wish. So depending on, on where you're at would determine how much weight you want to use. Start with a light weight for the first time. Let me show you what you're doing first. If you're not using weights, you um, will just do it like this. Okay, so standing fairly close to the chair actually. So I'm just a little bit, a few inches away from the chair. Now, the trick here is to really press your bum back. So really think of sitting into a chair and you're just gonna bring your arms to the side and come back up. So what we're doing is a deadlift. You've seen me do this one before in other wor workouts where I'm just coming down and I'm coming up again. But we are being safer with using the chair. So having our feet shoulder width apart, close to the chair, and then coming down and coming up again. So we wanna feel a little bit of a stretch in the hamstrings at the back of our legs here. So bringing your hands down, chest goes to the top of the chair, and coming up. Now, if you have a really tall chair, see if you can find one in your house that is a bit shorter, so it'll make it easier to do the exercise. Now, if you're using dumbbells, it's the same thing. Standing close to the chair for support, coming down, pressing your bum back. See, my back is flat, I'm not rounded. So by pushing your bum back, it's gonna flatten out your back. So coming down and back up. Let's go together, ready? One, two, three. And if you need to, you can move a little bit more forward so you're basically having the top of the chair into your stomach. So just find what works for you. And if you don't feel you need the chair for support, you feel safe doing it, then just don't have the chair there at all. Everyone has different body shapes and sizes, so it depends on what works best for you. So you can see I just have a slight bend in my knees as I'm coming down. Last one. Excellent. I'm just going to show one other option. If you find that it doesn't work for you with the chair, you could also do it this way. 
So just bringing the dumbbells down, that way the chair is there for support. If you feel that you're falling or you feel uncomfortable or unsafe, the chair will be there for support. So that would also work if the top of your, if the back of your chair is too high. That's it, you're done. Those are five exercises. They are great for building strength in the legs all around. I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you found it helpful. Please subscribe if you haven't already and have a wonderful day. Bye for now.